Hello again, everyone. These are our outside basement stairs. And, you know, as you get older, you need a little help going up and down stairs sometimes. I have a bad hip and sometimes I struggle on bad days trying to walk up and down the stairs without holding on to something. There's not much to hold on to here other than the wall. So I bought a new handrail. I'm going to be installing it. So I thought I'd take you along on installing this and see how it works out. So let me show you the rail that I purchased. We'll go from there. It's come from Amazon and it's it's not galvanized pipe but it's made like galvanized pipe with elbows and let me get it all out here and I'll show you. See it has threaded ends and this is similar to galvanized pipe but a lot lighter, a lot thinner which on a handrail is sufficient enough. Here's the instructions. One, two, three, four, five. No writing on the instructions, just pictures that show you how to put it together and what you end up with here. That's okay, we'll figure it out. Okay, this rail is eight foot in length, so we have two four foot pipes threaded on each end. And you join them with this T, like that, that screws on. This pipe screws in the end of that. And then this little short pipe screws in the T. This goes against your basement wall, in my case, like that. Same thing on each end. We have an elbow, short piece of pipe. Same thing on the opposite end. And then of course, the mounting bracket goes on each end. So that's how it goes together. Now you get, I call these drywall screws. They don't look much heavier than a drywall screw. Obviously I can't use those because I'm, I'm fastening this into concrete. Here's what I'll be using. These are inch and three quarter these are concrete masonry screws. And this is a bit you use. This is a 3 16 bit quarter inch screw. So you can see how that works. Slightly larger than the bit. That grabs the concrete as you screw it in. That's, uh, I've got a magnetic bit there that fits it. That's why I got that laying with it. And you will need a hammer drill, which I have one. That'll drill the holes in the concrete much, much easier. Now, how are we gonna put all of this together and mark the walls for these rackets? I've got an idea. First, I'm gonna assemble all of this into one long eight foot piece, and I'll show you what I have in mind. That's what it looks like. And now my only, the only thing I need to do is to get this positioned on the wall and mark where the four screws go in each retainer. I've got an idea how to do that. So let's take it up to the steps. And it'll give you the idea. Uh, 
I can run almost to that step, the first step down. And then just measure from each step up to the rail to get it uniform where it runs with the steps. I can clamp it on that end there against the wall. And then we'll do some measuring on the height and position accordingly as we go down to the bottom step. I need approximately 37 inches from the back of the step to where the rail stops. That's right in there. I think we can start the rail Maybe come up a little higher here. I don't want it at the very top of this. I want to drop it down some. So let's see if this is going to work. Okay, we're pretty close. That's 36, 37. Now, if we raise this bottom up, 37. All right, let me show you how I got my measurements. Uh, I did cut a two by, actually I had one, it was 32 inches. So that worked really well there. But here's the way I checked it. That's 23 to the bottom of the rail. 23. And 23. So I know that the rail is the same distance from each step to the top of the rail. Next, we'll take a pencil. We'll mark where our four screws go. And we're going to try to turn these to where I like to get them holes level. Paint pen. I know it'll work. I think it will. Now we gotta drill our holes for the screws. Taught you for impact driver. See how this works. drilling about a quarter of an inch longer than the screw and then I still have the plate that the screw goes on so it should be plenty don't want to, the screw to bottom out I'm really impressed with these but as you can see same brand on the bit I bought. I think that makes a difference. That bit is designed for these screws. Man, that is that is tight. Yeah, I scratched the paint right there. I'll touch that up. We need to get this final screw in. Uh, we got two to put in here. And one up there. I may have to use a different screw. I think I've got some star heads in the same type screw. We'll see if we can get those in there a little bit easier. It's the right height, at least for me, anyway. I like it. Well, I did have a star head I was able to put in this one. Get in there to it. Uh, this one, I got it in part of the way, but my pipe got in the way, so I got an Allen wrench and we'll finish it up with. And a little leverage on the end there. A lot harder to do by hand than it is with that driver. 
but we're about to get it. Okay. And one more right here. All right, handrail is installed. Now I need to clean these steps. Makes, makes them look bad with that new handrail. But I would recommend this. I was a little apprehensive when I bought this, thinking, well, how do you get all of these plates to line up? And the way you do it, like this elbow, you just position it to where it lines up with the other two. And it might be a little loose when you do that. But when you tighten everything down and fasten it against the wall, everything's tight now. When I started looking for this rail, I seen this on Amazon, $58. So I thought, well, that's a good idea with that galvanized pipe, which this is not. This is, I'm guessing, aluminum or some kind of a lightweight metal. But anyway, I thought, what if I can make one out of regular galvanized pipe and then paint it? And for $58, I might have got half of it, four foot section for that, and buying regular thick wall pipe. And really wasn't necessary. This is sturdy, plenty sturdy enough. I like the way it looks and I'm happy with it. So that's going to do it for installing this eight foot pipe stair rail. We'll see you next time. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, how about giving us a like and subscribing to our channel? Thanks.